a second. So, uh, morning. Um, it's been a little while since I did a vlog. Uh, I've been busy. <sighs> I don't know how much there is to say about it. I have a secret game project. S -s -s secret. It's, it's, it's just me, and like, I think it's gonna be really cool, so I'm not telling very many people about it, but, you know, uh, it still amuses me, so I'm still doing it. Um, and I also have, like, a, um... spoon. You will live in here. Um, I've also been doing an exercise routine. You, mm, you might... I didn't upload it, but I, uh, yeah. I've been doing an exercise routine, and, uh, one time I tried to do a, uh, holding up the camera vlog in the park, and it just completely... It was like the most jarring thud every footstep or every other footstep. It was completely unwatchable. Um, I, I, like, I might turn it into a, into a audio log. But it was unwatch. No amount of stabilization is going to make that watch. I, 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 I guarantee no amount of stabilization will make that watch. Uh, but yeah, um, I've been busy, and that's translated to. And that has translated to, uh, I have neglected to vlog. As you can see, I got, uh, a new tea. Uh, this is a black tea flavored with cardamom. I, uh, I assume this will be delicious, but I have not had any. As, as you can probably infer from the part where I am just now opening the sealed package of At some point, I'm thinking about, uh, I got my green tea here, taking an empty bin from like the Earl Grey or whatever, and just like unrolling the, the cardboard box and pasting it over, over top of this. So it says, and then it just, sit, the, the, the block of tea will sit inside. And in that case, it will have a spoon as well. Uh, I started this... <laughs> my topic for this vlog was, I've been busy lately. And I was like, oh, that's not really enough for a vlog. I'll have to transition to something else. And I didn't think of a something else. 
and now I've been busy talking, so I haven't been thinking of something else, and now I don't have anything else. I've been busy lately. I still like talking. I still like tea. Um, that is about to tick. So, I don't really have a plan to, like, get back into a rhythm of vlogging. Um, I'd like to do that, though. So, um, I'm probably going to try to come up with something. Uh, in the meantime, I'm doing alright. The game's been going really well. Um. I made a couple posts about it on Patreon. Mostly I've just been, like, DMing my friends with, like, you look at this picture. Uh, and they've been super supportive, which is awesome. Friends. Really good tool for, for, like, making it through the enormous process that is making a game. Not all games are enormous, but this one is, I mean, this one's small. But I'm one person, and so on the scale of one person projects, it's big. Especially because I'm learning Pico 8 while I'm making it. Um, which, like, I know that there are, like, free alternatives. And I don't know anything about those free alternatives. But the thing, the overwhelming thing that struck me about Pico 8 is just... Like, it's really good to work in. Like, like there's a lot of stuff which is just like, oh, there's actually a wiki. There's a manual which has information in it. There's multiple, like, learn Pico 8 zines. I recommend, um, uh, the, the, the something game development with Pico 8. It's it's linked from the Lexilawful website, but there's a couple zines which are like Pico 8 zines, and there's one that's specifically game development with Pico 8. Uh, you'll know it's the right one because it has uh, games that you type in for Cave Diver, which is a Flappy Bird clone uh, with like a cave instead of pipes, and um, Lander, which is, you know, Lunar Lander kind of game, rocket, tip, tip, burst. Um, I found that one really useful, and like, um, the, the, the game, like, I seen some people make squashy, and I feel like, um, I feel like, uh, uh, Cave Diver looked better than Squashy, so it's, it's a more satisfying end product at the end of the tutorial, I think. Um, yeah. Lou is a weird programming language. I might just be really ignorant, because I went, because I, I looked at, like, Six programming languages, but the only ones I've actually spent time in are Basic and and MATLAB. Like made multiple projects in are Basic and MATLAB, and so like functions 
are variables that you can just be like, okay, I'm going to set the update function to this other variable, which is a function I defined over here in the code. I'm going to set this to this. It's, it's... Anyway, it, it, it has been a learning experience, but I have, like all the games that I've made up to this point and all the projects that I've done that haven't been games have done a lot to prepare me for it. Um, like it would be harder to learn Pico 8 if I hadn't made a game using uh, Move, love to d um, the the l o umlaut v e thing, um, because I had the game loop concept in my head, and also from reading people's blogs about like making Game Boy games or Game Boy Advance games, like I had in my head, okay, game, um, uh, like game loop, you have this clock, which is going 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second or whatever frame per second. And you do stuff and then you draw stuff. And at the end of that, the screen updates. Um, like with, 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 um, with like the Game Boy stuff, apparently there's like a blanking interval and it's like your, your, your goal is to do as much of the calculations that you can outside the blanking interval, and then quickly shuffle all the screen RAM stuff in the blanking interval so the blanking, so, so, so the, like, the screen is ready for the next frame. And then you do all your stuff outside the blanking interval, and then you get all the, everything in the place. Like, uh, you line up all your bricks, and then when the blanking interval comes, you put them all on the board, and then you run away. Uh, Pico... Eight doesn't have like a blanking interval, as far as I can tell. Um, but uh, <sighs> it is designed to evoke those old eight-bit uh, game engines, and <laughs> it, <laughs> like I was like, oh, it's 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 retro, so I should be like thinking NES, and yes, literally. Every decision I made for purely this feels right for like a Commodore 64 game has been like the right decision for Pico 8 because it's like, okay, memory storage. You get 64, uh, no, yes, you get 64 32-bit chunks of memory and cart memory on the cartridge. It's like, oh, so the thing I did where it was four bits per square, that was actually, like, no, it couldn't have been eight bits because that would have been twice as much memory on the cartridge. Anyway, it's... I think you can tell that I'm really excited about this game. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep talking about it on Patreon. And I might make a vlog about it after it's out. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I've been busy, and it's been, it's been a good busy. It's been a busy that's been me being really happy and uh, doing stuff. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to squeeze some uh, vlogging back into that uh, pattern. In the meantime, I'm going to see what this cardamom tea is like. <laughs>